let's move on next what we'd see is operators so like our earlier example we did see why did we use parenthesis it is used to order and grouping of arguments for a function that is one and the second is precedence order that means if you have certain calculation to be done before the other calculations to take place system understands by the means of considering the parenthesis value to equate to a scalar or a tabular value first and then use that value for further outer calculations so it always is inside the parenthesis and then the moving on to outside second is basic arithmetic app operators like is plus is for addition minus is for subtraction then asterisk is for multiplication slash is for division raise to exponential operator is for exponentiation for mathematical purposes also we do have comparison operators like any of our uh, excel or programming system wherein single equal to equate something to something else like our expression dax expressions or a formula like we saw earlier second is greater than sign third is less than sign greater than equal to less than equal to and please check how do we write not equal to not equal to is written as left angular bracket and right angular bracket to represent not equal to very important to know over here next we move ahead with text concatenation operator in which single and ampersand is used for concatenation again a very minor trivial case of diff distinguish uh, between and second is a logical operator wherein two things are to simultaneously expressions are evaluated and only when both are found to be true it moves ahead similarly vertical bars are for or operator when you are working with either or condition and you're okay with either or the or value to take precedence then you should go ahead with the or operator basically once you have a grip of these operators and you know how to use how to make query expression then half of your base is done right so again parenthesis is used for two of the things that is precedence and the grouping uh, precedence is always inside out inside the parenthesis works first then the outside arithmetic operators are basic arithmetic operators to be applied in your expression no need for any more explanation comparison operators only thing to take care over here is it is a single equal to use for comparison along with the left angular bracket and the right angular bracket for not equal to rest of the uh, operators are basic as a common sensical alphabet or the symbol which would guide you to make your own query expression and then there comes the text concatenation operator which is a single ampersand and then the next is the logic operator so let's have a look at few of these in our example and then we move ahead so like we see in this example let's go ahead yeah in this example we'll see where is this come from it has come from total revenue so if you see this parenthesis and it has this so that means some will only take care once this invoice revenue from invoices is calculated and bought in one place so it is already present that's why the sum takes over so this is first part of it now if i want to calculate and i want to concatenate something as i want to say power bi just for your demo i say this equal to it does not fix this it needs two values again if you see one part of it is text the rest of the part is getting converted into the text because I have this thing. If I want something as, if I want to write students with space, students space power bi. So 
this gets converted to student space power bi a good way of demonstrating an ampersand and let's say let's say the same placard i just copy it i paste it to demo something different i move ahead let me correct my formula over here just to bring in the sanity in place okay now both of them get refreshed that's okay i want to change this to something else so i can write my measures as new measure right and I can say I will show you all these options multiplication in this case I can say using parenthesis I can say 8 multiply by 5 plus 3 so ideally it would calculate 8 into 5 plus 343 so if I want to show this to you let's use that as your revenue 43 like a multiplication let's change it to something else so if i want to say divided by 10 it should return me 4 it returned me 4 this was a division example addition is done if i say minus 43 or minus 40 in this scenario it would calculate and give me zero there you are so this is how I am doing plus minus multiplication division if I say if right a logical test that means I want to do 8 into 5 equals 40 then I write true else I write false so in this case it says true so this is the logical operator it took precedence first to calculate something then it checked equal to sign and then it returned a value that is getting shown over here again a very useful stuff to begin with then I can do this or this or operator in a larger context of this theme of things however it is not required over here so all in all these operators what we saw today are quite great and let's check these comparison operator it is a good way of doing less than equal to 40 true if I say this is it less than 40 it would say false again less than less than equal to similarly greater than greater than equal to let's check not equal to so this is another way of writing not equal to but power bi does not accept that power bi has its own way of writing not equal to a programming background will guide you to write this but yeah again this is not equal to then you are left with logical and and or ampersand is clear and logical and and or would be taken uh, ahead in our future discussions as and when the case arises so this is all about the operators in the dax queries simple easy break it down and move ahead thank you